How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Morales. Today I'm going to show you about, I'm going to, let's take a look at loops. So I have this program here that I created and uh, it's writing standards. You know when you're a bad kid and you have to write on the board, you know, or on a piece of paper how many times, you know, I won't be a bad kid at school or I won't be talking in class, you know, and you have to do that a hundred times or something. So this is a little program that does that. So I'm just going to put the statement, um, I won't be a bad kid. How many, how many lines? And I just put 10 to 20, but I could put more if I wanted to. So I'm just say 15, and when I submit it, the output is 15 lines of, this, of that same statement along with the number. So how do we create this? We're going to create this using loops. Let's take a look at the code. So first of all, let's look, let's look at our HTML. Um, if need be, go to line 23 and change your name. On line 27, Let's re, uh, put statement let's type how many lines of standards on the line twenty nine how many lines of standards okay and then we'll go ten to 20 and uh, the statement let's go back to line 27 statement will be this it won't be f name box anymore let's change it to statement box okay statement box and uh, this one can be number box still all right now let's change the f the clear text function Okay, let's change that to statement box. And number box will stay the same. Let's go to the top. And instead of first name, it'll be statement. Statement equals document the get element, get element by ID, statement box is on line 7 also okay so far so good uh, variable number document dot get element by ID number box dot value good result okay oh yes okay let's do this let's create another variable called result and let's make sure it's a string and there's nothing in the string okay let's see what else can we do so far that to set everything up uh, okay here let's just erase all of this on line 12 okay cool alright okay so let's let's start there let's save it and uh, let me talk about what loops are so uh, loops can execute a block of code a number of times um, and there's three you could say that there's three different kinds there's a while loop a do while loop and a for loop so let's um, let's solve this problem using a do while loop and we're gonna look at all the different ones the different kinds of loops and and uh, we'll do we'll solve the problem using all three different kinds so let's start by typing in something that we're going to need. We're going to need a variable 
the variable will be um, i, and this is usually like our counter. You'll notice that in programming, whenever you work with loops, you need a, a counter that counts how many times the loop occurs. And so our counter variable is called i. And here I'm just going to put um, example of a do while loop. Oops, do while loop. Okay. So what a do while loop does is that it will uh, run a specific code at least once. Okay, so that's what we do first. So do, we're going to do, we're going to basically do meaning we're going to run the code once. Okay, and we're going to, when whatever we do, we are saving it to the result um, variable, which is a string. And we're attaching, we're continuing to append to this result variable. And so in order to do that, in order to continue to append, in order to continue to attach, we need to put a plus sign, <coughs> excuse me, and an equal sign. Okay, and now we're going to append a break plus so these are the different things that we are adding um, so a break which is going to skip a line the statement which is whatever the person types in you know I won't be a bad kid in class or whatever let's put um, a space and let's put our counter okay and now we're going to increase our counter if we ever if we don't ever increase our counter so this will increase the counter so it starts at number one it'll run the code along with that number one along with the statement and the break and then it will increase it by one so that's what this line of code means line 15 so now instead of it being one it'll be two and it just keeps going and going now this is will be this will be an infinite inf, infinite loop. I mean, uh, especially when you don't have the counter, it'll be an infinite loop. But even like this, it will be an infinite loop because there is no con condition to stop the loop. So in order to stop the loop, we need to put a condition, and the way we do that is by putting while and in quotation. I mean, in parentheses, we'll put the condition which is i is less than let's do this less than or equal to number okay all right so what is number remember that is the uh, the number that the user entered into the text box and that will be our control so um, let's see if this works so I'm gonna save it let's refresh so I won't be a bad kid let's just say that how many lines of standards Let's do 12, and there we go, great. It printed it out 12 times, and I could see that by, it, it has it here, the numbers, a number of times it printed out, and it has the line of code. All right, now let's take a look at some issues. So remember this uh, line 14, if we were not to have that plus sign, let's see what happens if we don't have that plus sign. Let's save it. Refresh. Okay, let's do you know 18 times. 
Well, what happened there? It just printed it out once and it has the number 18. Why did that happen? The reason that happened is because it just keeps on, if you don't have that plus sign, it's not appending and it just keeps doing the same loop over and over again without adding to the original string. It just keeps on putting it on top and replacing the string in other words. So we need that plus sign in order to um, append and to, in order to add, continue to add to the same string. Okay. Um, I think everything else might be a little bit more self-explanatory. So this is an example of a do while loop. So let's take a look at how about if we just do so notice a do while loop it'll it'll run the code at least once. So that's the difference between a do while loop, it'll run the code at least once. And then the condition is at the end okay of the loop itself. Alright, let's do another one. Uh this time let's use the while loop. So um Let's use a while loop. Let's um, so let's put some comments here on our do while loop, and let's do the okay. So so this will be an example of a while loop. and same concept, same idea so now this time the condition will be in, in, uh, in the beginning so while uh, i is less than or equal to number so we start the condition off first and now we do the same thing we actually can copy these two lines of code okay so it's a little bit easier maybe right a little bit less code you don't really need to to use the do uh, so while and we test for the condition first while i is less than or equal to number then you do whatever's in the um, curly brackets so it's the same thing we had. So let's save it. Let's run it. I won't be a bad kid. How many lines of standards? Let's just do 12. And great, it works. Let's do one other example. Let's do what's called a for loop. So let's let's put comments here. So a for loop. So the difference between a for what a for loop does, you can use a for loop when you know um uh the exact amount of times that you want it to to loop um, and, and you know many times there's no right or wrong way of doing it but programmers usually like to use the less amount of code in order to do things so let's do a for loop and it, the condition for the for loop is a little bit different and you pretty much do everything on one line in terms of the condition so let's take a look at how we do that and and we also include the control variable so the control variable is i so we do i is equal to one and we do a semicolon and then we do i is less than or equal to number and then semicolon and then we increase you know the, our our control variable by one, and now here is where we type our 
what's going to happen with our result okay result break statement okay everything looks good so um here's our control we don't actually need this then if we do it if we have it in our for loop so i'll just put a very uh, i'll just put a comment there so let's save it okay let's refresh I won't be a bad kid anymore okay 13 times and there it is Our, there are my standards so there you have it three different loops three different ways of doing things um, so check out that code and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.